That's a little footage from Bryce and Foy competing today. We are at the Gimli Yacht Club and wow, Bryson, the waves, the wind, the cold, and you managed to pull out second and third today. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> now I heard Nova Scotia has a pretty tough uh, competitor there. Yeah, she has been <laughs> right with me the whole time. She is so fast every single day. Uh, We've had such a good run over the past few days. Just I, I love racing against her. She's such a good match for me. Uh, she actually pulled off. I think she got a first and a second today, or maybe yeah. two firsts even. She is really, really fast. It's actually really nice to sail with her. And right, folks, this is maybe one of the only events at the Summer Games where it's male and female competing in the same event. And this is the 2.4 Paramix. And uh, I guess for you, Bryson, how did you get into sailing in the first place? Uh, I got into sailing originally in a different boat through the cadets program, the Sea Cadets. And then uh, I actually got introduced to the head of sail Manitoba, Brigida Smutney. And she put me in the boat and <laughs> said, Go at it, yeah, pretty much. And she was like telling me all this stuff. I had no idea what I was doing at the first few weeks. And then uh, I joined the race team. And after that, I just started going to competitions. I went to Canadians within my first six months and I scored ninth place out of 20, I think. Amazing. Oh, no, amazing. <laughs> what was it like today? I mean, what were some of the things and issues that you had to face out there in the water? Uh, today, the waves are where they were crazy out there. Uh, these boats don't handle waves as well as some of the other boats because they're a keel boat, so they, they don't capsize, but they sit really low in the water. So what happens is uh, something called swamping, which makes <laughs> your boat fill up with water. And it's, it's kind of like sitting in a bathtub that weighs thousands of pounds and is in the middle of a lake. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes it sound so scary, but you yeah. make it look so easy. Now, I mean, you're constantly bailing, and yeah. there there are worlds and there are international competitions where fully able-bodied sailors compete against parasailers, and this, I mean, you guys are equally matched in the boat. Yeah, the boats are all adapted to individual uh, disabilities and amputations. Uh, we have multiple people in wheelchairs for this event, uh, and then we have multiple older people that uh, I'm missing an arm, uh, Siobhan's missing a leg and, a, and an arm. We've got such a variety of uh, disabilities and, and different situations here that it, it really is just the, the boat that decides and everybody sets their boats up differently to help them. So. Yeah. Well, you know, to wrap things up, a word of a word of wisdom to maybe a young potential sailor out there. I mean, you are an inspiration, but you know, <laughs> you know, any words of wisdom? Uh, the wind may be strong, but the boat is meant for it, so just go for it. The worst, what's the worst thing that can happen? You're going to end up in the water. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to learn to like getting wet. <laughs> yeah, that was that was my biggest fear originally was the heavy winds. Yeah. Every day I would go out in the heavy winds. I would say, oh man, this is this is too much. I have to go in. But then I started getting used to it, and this boat is it's so well adapted for for being easy. You can just let your sails out, and then you'll just stop, and then you can go again when you're ready. So <laughs> it's like it's pretty foolproof most of the time. Yeah. yeah, and you like going fast, no doubt, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yes. yes. Well, once again, Bryson, congratulations. Thank you. And again, this is just one of the more inspirational stories that we'll be showing here on Canada Games Now for Shaw TV. I'm Tracy Koga.